In this video, we look at some data, and then we look at finding the z-score of each of those data values. So in this example, it says this is the pulse rate, beats per minute of nine students. It says treat the nine students as a population. Compute the z-scores of all nine students. Here are the z-scores. Here's our data. Well, we have to get this data into the calculator, since we're going to do it on a TI-8384 calculator. We go into the stat and edit, and we're going to put it in list one. Remember, if there's something in here and you need to erase it, go up to the top, hit clear, and enter. You erase everything. Okay, once we have it in here, then we click the stat and calculate. And then we want one bar stats because that will calculate the uh, mean, 72.4444. And then the uh, population standard deviation, which is the 7.5882823. Those are the two pieces of information we're going to use. It's a little tricky using a calculator because you have to do each of them individually. I would uh, suggest doing this on Excel. Uh, it's much faster. And here's a link to doing this on Excel. But if we're going to do it on the calculator, then we need the formula. And here's the formula. The z-score for the population, the x minus mu over the sigma. If it's a sample, then you have the x minus the mean over the S, which is the sample standard deviation. But we're using this one, so that's the information we're going to use. So on the calculator, I look for my first X value. We'll use student 1. I'm not going to do them all. Student 1 has a 77 over my X value. So I'm going to do 70 in parentheses. I'm going to do 77 minus. Now mu, that's the same as the mean. The means will be the same in the, in the case of population and sample here. So we go to vars and if you see statistics there you can go down to that and that allows me to pick individual values and we want the mean which is going to be the same as the x bar even though it's actually mu the means are the same close the parentheses and divide by sigma same area vars you get a little faster hit 5 and then you'll be able to see it sigma x not sigma y but sigma x Four. And then this will give us our z-score, 0 0.60. And if we look, that's 0 0.60 for student 1. Now we just continue repeating this process. You get a little faster. You put the next number in, 61, and you do the same thing over and over and over until all nine are done. But that's how you create or get a z-score from raw data on the, on the calculator. I, again, would suggest using Excel and just making one function and pulling it down, it works a lot faster.